Hello everyone, welcome to the Super Fun Awesome Happy Dime Pedal Show. My name is Gabor. Hey, I'm Alex. And we have special guest Andrew McDonald from Mostronics. Good afternoon. Uh, and we have all the Mostronics drive pedals in front of us because we've had people ask us. Uh, they all sound good, all the videos sound good, but you know, can you put them sort of next to each other? And so we've done it. Uh, by the way, I'll put all the links to all the individual videos below in the description so you can actually check mm. out the full demo. We're not going to go completely, totally, fully into them all. But um, we'll just kind of... Yeah, greatest uh, hits. Greatest hits, basically, yeah. yeah. And also, we just did a podcast with Andrew as well. So if you want to listen to the podcast, links to that are below as well. Mm, very educational. Yes, yes, <coughs> yes. Excuse me. <coughs> okay, so, okay. Um, Andrew, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks no for being here. So basically, we've got all the drives in front of us. Uh, we put them sort of roughly in order in, in what Andrew sort of said. That's the order we should go in. So it basically goes bottom row into top row. So we've got the JFET drive first, the Expand drive, Classic Fuzz, Tube Driver, Baconizer, the drive line, which is sort of the AC30 uh, style amp in a box thing, and a Tone Meister, which is the 59 basement in a box thing. So maybe should we just go start at the start and mm -hmm. go through it and then maybe just quickly sort of explain each pedal and what the idea behind it was and, and that sort of thing. Yeah, cool. Yeah. So let's start off, JFET drive. <laughs> nice. an, an overdrive using JFETs made to sound similar to the little 5 watt Fender Princeton's or something like that okay okay, okay. sure do you want to play or do you want me to play uh, you yes. play you've yes. got the guitar okay. yes yeah. we start with that so we're going into yeah. the Marshall Origin 20 which you can just sort of see here and we may or may not have a little bit of Dan Electro Dan Echo delay which is an effects loop so let's start off clean sounds Okay, let's get this going. So this is sort of a, a, a edge of breakup kind of setting that we've got to go. Yeah. Yeah, get some echo. Beautiful. So, to me, to me, and I think you just mentioned it just then, um, small combo amp in a box, cranked. That's sort of the, the vibe I get from it, and that's yeah. what it's meant to be. Originally, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. So is there anything in particular we should know about it, or, or not, not really, just JFETs? Yep, I, I would probably stick it first in the chain, and we did. Edge, edge a breakup, but there's no right or wrong. You just have yeah, a play, yeah. experiment with the where your pedals are on, on your board and see what works what works for you. Exactly. Should we quickly do humbuckers with yeah. it? So let's um it. uh let's do this. So I mean it distorts a lot more because it's much more output and, yeah. and I, I'm a hack, so But it gives you that, it, it, it feels like a small combo amp, it kind of, it, and that's one of the things I always like about your pedals as well, they kind of, the feel is very good with them, which to me that's one of the most important parts almost is how, how, how does it make you feel and how do you re react as a player to it? I try to design the stuff so that you don't have to fight the pedal to get the sound in your head. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And it should be fun to play. Yeah. Exactly right. You know, yeah. it's it's, cool. It should make you want to play. Or, yeah. You know, it's yeah. called playing, not Hit harder. saving. You know, go faster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, hang on, do a little bit of delay too. It's, I like it. It's, uh, yes. I think that's one of my, out of all of them, that's one, that's 
in the top three favorite of mine, that one. I really quite like that one. Uh, yeah, it gets super fuzzy when you crank it. Yep. Mm. And it just get, it has that vibe. It, 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 hard, it's always hard to explain this sort of stuff, but it just gives us uh, a certain vibe, and I, I like that vibe. <laughs> All right, next, uh, expand drive. Uh, so the expand drive, I believe, is sort of your take on a tube screamer, but it's not a tube screamer. Similar architecture. Yeah. Because yeah. the basic building blocks of, yeah. of most pedals are the same, no matter yeah. whose pedal you look at. Yeah. Um, so it's going to be similar in, in architecture to a yeah. tube screamer, and it yeah. was a happy accident when I was breadboarding it, so I kept it. And, okay. Uh, yep. Yeah. Which is the expansion and the asymmetry control. So which is the two up the top. And, which uh, is the two up the top. So, so let, let's let's have a look at them. Do you, am uh, I start select? off with them fully up. So that's Tube Screamer-ish. Okay, hang on. Okay, so it's tight and compressed. Yep, 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 yep. And you turn the asymmetry anti-clockwise. Yeah. And you, you'll hear a bit of the sound opening up and you turn the expansion anti-clockwise and you still get the dirt um, but the sound you hear opens just up. opens up. Okay, right. should, we, should we do that while I play? So it's, yeah, my yeah. I should wait, but it's a much bigger sound, so it's much, yeah. um, right. much more open. Much I like more. it with the those two controls all the way all anti -clock, the anti clockwise. Yeah. Do you want to have a fiddle? Sure. Makes it sort of poke out quite a lot. That's I, I actually like the combination of the two. Um, interesting. Yeah, I think I think we were struggling a little bit with the expand and the asymmetry function when we were doing the, the demo because we're kind of going. Ah, yeah, they sort of go do? opposite. Maximum expansion is actually anti-clockwise. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes sense now. It was a yeah. Just need to yeah. <laughs> Um, so they're, they're sort of opposite in what you'd expect. Yeah, so yeah, anti, yeah. Anti clockwise is maximum expansion. Mm. Yeah, so I've never corrected the circuit board layout, so it just oh, it doesn't. just stays that way. You find a setting and you leave it there. That's it. Yeah. That's exactly right. Yeah, okay. Um, okay, classic fuzz. Uh, okay, what should we so, know about the classic fuzz? Two transistor silicon transit silicon fuzz. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So okay. Not a clone of any anything else. Just a, so okay. it's not the shinny or any other type. Okay. Standard, standard fuzz is a little bit different. Okay. Um, so, even with fuzz on minimum, it's still fuzzy. It is quite fuzzy. I, I yeah. quite like it almost crank because then it, it doesn't quite get into, it's not like, it doesn't sound like a big muff, but it goes into that big muff esque mm. world. But with the sustain. And yeah, yeah, but with with the big muff, one of the things I never like about the big muffs is that huge mid scoop. Like, mm. It disappears, especially mm. when you're playing in a band situation. With this, you don't get that. You get mm. that big muff sound, but you have the mid still. Yeah. You know, it doesn't scoop it out as much. Uh, okay, do you want do you want to play? Do you want to sure. Play? Maybe okay, maybe. classic fuzz. I'm Mr. Fuzz. So. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a bit bright for a telly.
cool overtones. <laughs> it's got yeah, the kind of cool overtones that you get when you when you turn the volume down a bit. Yeah. Um, and a counter switch is is that a is that a like an EQ thing or? It's the input capacitor to, to the circuit. So okay. you've got a bigger one or it's a base cut when it's down. Okay, that's what I mean, yeah. So fuller fuller yeah. range when it's up. Up, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, hang on, we should do yeah. humbuckers. like things on full yeah so with 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 me um, I always found the contour switch it almost makes it up it's sort of in a kind of more modern -y, kind of big muffy world whereas down is more that sort of fuzz facey range but again not like it but it's more that vibe range mastery fuzz face that kind of vintage yeah. fuzz sound whereas up is more the modern tighter more modern fuzz that's sort of to me the contour switch that's what I always thought of it <laughs> Uh, and I love, for me, up, all the way up, fuzz all the way on. <laughs> it's just fat. Um, I like it. Let me go flat out. Okay, oh yeah, okay. It's cool. It's a. It's it's sign of the cow, man. Sign of the cow. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a fuzz. <clears throat> One of the things with me and fuzzes that are always we, I love fuzzes when you play a fuzz on its own. In a band situation, fuzzes rarely ever work, but this one kind of does because it retains that. Um, it retains a mid. It doesn't mm. scoop it like a lot of other fuzz pedals do. Um, and to me, it's one of the very few fuzzes that works in a band situation. That's just you know. Uh, okay, next, Tube Driver. So this is probably, I'd say, my favorite out of all of these. Um, I use it quite a bit. Um, now, you were mentioning so the, with the contour switch, in the middle, it's just a tube, no it's just diodes. The, it's just a tube. The other, other two positions are diode clipping in, ahead of the tube. Which is up. Yep, possibly. So, yeah. And so then more LED game. clipping ahead it's of the down. tube, which is switched down. Okay. For me, I'd, I much prefer it in the middle. Same here, yeah. Everybody's taste is going yep. to be different. You know? yep. What one person loves in a pedal, another person was like, oh, that's rubbish. Yeah. yeah. You know? yeah. And vice versa. That's usually how we, yeah. what we do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you on? Yes, you're on. Do you want to play? I'm on. Sure. Starting to blow out slightly, but they work. They work quite well together. Yeah. You want to try to, to try that one? Try that one. I was going to do. Trying to do a bend again. <laughs> Yeah. 
they, they both work quite well into that. Yeah. yeah. They're, um, That's why we set them up in this order. In that order, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, hey, humbuckers. But for me, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Just that, even with full gain, well, well, even with full gain, just that, you, you get that definition. You still get... You hear all the high notes, you hear all the harmonics, you all hear the, all the stuff. All the squeaks and squeals. All the, all the... I do, yes. Um, you hear all that, and that's, I, I, I really dig it. That's, it's, I've said it many times before, and I've, I, I keep saying it. Absolute favourite distortion pedal. Um, in the world of distortions, that's mm. best I've played. Thank so, you. Yeah. Uh, let's nice. go, let's go. It's a bit brighter, yeah, so it brings out the hum humbuckers a bit more worse. For your guitar, the expander off because it's a bit... Mm. It doesn't poke it out as much. It sound they they sound really good together with yours. I don't know why I always play harmonic minor stuff, but yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they they work really well together. Uh, okay, let's go next. Right, cool. Uh, or should we do the? Con oh no, just watch the video if you want to see the contour switch thing. Yeah. Uh, Baconizer. Uh, okay, so that's a MOSFET fuzz. Yep. Yes? Um, so anything in particular we should know about it? It's best on high gain. Best on high gain. So it's sort of a one, not really a one trick pony, but sort of like that. Has a flavor. Best on, best on, best on high grain. gain. Okay, so um, okay. where did the name was, come from? Uh, a, a running joke in my band. Okay. Every, <laughs> everything's better with bacon, so they always say, oh, oh sure. you, you've got to do a bacon pedal, dude. So, <laughs> my wife says that too. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, it, it, it is true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this must be a thing in. Uh, I have another friend, bass player friend in Melbourne, yeah. Rusty, who has all, always half of his Facebook feed is bacon, bacon posts, related yeah. posts. So. Maybe it's a Melbourne thing. Yeah. It's... Melbourne bass player thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, baconizer. Hang on, let's turn it off again. Yo. So Thanks. we'll start off with the on low gain mode. Low gain mode, which gain, is up. gain knob crank. <laughs> Angriness. Mm. Yeah. That's what I, I think I always called the it. Upsetness. The upsetness. <laughs> Grumpy pig. Grumpy pig. Sorry. Version two can be the Grumpy yeah. pig. The Grumpy pig. Yeah. All right. Do you want to do, you want to do <laughs> it? So that's a, a nice one to kick in for lead. Okay. So let, okay. So let's try for example. Um, let's go expand drive. Yep. And, hang on, and then kick it in. <laughs> Cards. It definitely yeah, cuts. Yeah, and the, you can hear some of the bass is cut out when you hit that pedal in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Do you want it? But that'll really make a lead cut through in cut a band through. situation or a mix. Yep. Because the guitar is a, a mid-range mid -range instrument. Yeah. Yeah. And it is it is quite a it's quite a mid-rangey pedal generally. I mm. find it. There's yep. a lot of mid-range. Do you want to do you want to get baconed? Sure. Bacon. Yeah. Yeah, sizzle on. <laughs> a lot of that that grunt when you go so when you flip the game switch up it's been a while remind me what does a fat a fat control do 
it's essentially the same tone control as that one. That one okay. and that one, so it's flat in the middle. Treble cup, anti clockwise, treble boost, yeah. clockwise. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So nice. All right. Drive line. So I believe the idea with that is you were looking at like how an AC30 works internally and trying to kind of recreate it on a component yeah, basis. Try and get the sound of an AC30 in a pedal. Nothing's ever going to be exactly the same no, as no. having an AC30. And it's not, not going to be as but, same as you know, that AC30 and that AC30. And well, that's it. That's it. Exactly yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, but you know, if someone you know plugs one in and turns it on, is it? Hey, my little Fender sounds like an AC30. Yeah. Then it's essentially doing its job. Yeah. Yeah. yeah cool. Yeah. All right. Give us some. Give us some noise. Right, that one, yeah. Let's let's get bacon into sure. it. Stacks well, yeah. so I mean that that it's guitar's bright too. So. That's a very bright guitar, yeah. Um, I mean, with those generally with pedals, uh, uh, amp in a box pedals um, always put them towards the end of the chain. So yeah, so of, you'd almost treat them like, like you amp. would. It's the the amp is the last thing you plug into. Yeah, yeah. So well, I think they sound best on at edge of breakup. Yeah. So putting them at the end of the chain then means you can get when you drive into them, then they, they sound different. You yeah. could almost leave it on all the time, or you could put it on for an EQ change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You could use them as as a little bit of boost and EQ change if that's the way you want to do it. Okay. Oh, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. That sounds great. That's I mean, super fads. That's fantastic. I like that. And I mean, compared to. Gives it life. Yeah. It's very upset, isn't it? <laughs> I like so again, that. With the, as with an AC30, if you turn treble and bass up full, it gives you a quite severe mid scoop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it sounds great. Okay, last but not least, the Tone Meister. Uh, okay, so 59 basement in a box. Style pedal, same concept as the drive line. Yep, yep. So what is, what is that using what? What's, what is it like a JFET, MOSFET, op amp? Op amps. Op amps. Both of them so are both op, of them are op both amps? Both of them are op amps. Okay. So there's a lot of parts stacked in that little box. Okay, okay. Right. Well, let's try out the Tone Meister. That's great as well. That's I, I love that thing. Uh, let's turn. <clears throat> D chords. Yeah, so something about a D chord that sounds massive. Or C sharp, really. Or even, I mean, drop C even sharp. normal tuning. Even. Yeah, but it's just that. Just like it. Okay, over to you, because we're almost out of time. Uh, over to you. <laughs>
think that expand drive works really well with that guitar. Mm, any they, single coil. They they work together really quite well. Yeah. Uh, so I mean that's that's all the drive pedals, uh, one after the other. Um, should we maybe do a thing where we just play something and turn one on after the other, just so it's all one in, in one row? Yeah, one riff or something? One riff or something like yeah. that. Yeah, do you want to play a D chords? <laughs> <laughs> it's funny though you know you go oh you know there's there's what there's there's seven drive pedals here um how different can it sound but it does sound really quite yeah. extremely different each one of them um okay let's do humbuckers sure am i switching oh yeah yes please well one of you guys yeah That's what happens when you have seven drive pedals on at once. <laughs> they are all really quite different, and they all. Um, it's interesting when you sort of stack, put drive pedals next to each other, because it is quite hard to kind of go, oh, this one sounded like that, and that one sounded like that. But when you hear them all next to each other, you realise how really quite distinctively different they all sound, and in okay. good in their own sort of ways, all good in their own ways. Yeah, depends on what you do with it, really. Yeah. So I hope I hope that was helpful for you people out there. Uh, uh, like I said, I'll put a link to all the individual videos. We've done individual videos to all those pedals. I'll put all the links below in the description um, so you can go and check them out. Uh, there's also a link to the podcast with Andrew we just did before uh, where he talks sort of a little bit more in depth about things and how he started you know, making pedals and all that sort of stuff. Um, and yeah, well, thank you so much for coming along my pleasure enjoyed it greatly absolute pleasure meeting you as well it's um, it's always nice to put a face to a pedal, a pedal. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know is that the right way to say it it's a crap pedal. saying it's a crap saying <laughs> uh, so where can um, where can people find your gear is um, you obviously got a website up can you buy it online well Music at Noosa yeah. Music that's at one Noosa. place yep. um, online big thank you hello Music at Noosa online at Peerless Music 
Mm -hmm. uh, guitar Pig and Steve. Hello, Pig and Steve. A couple yeah. of shops in Melbourne, so Drum Power in Bayswater, Guitar Colonel in South Melbourne. Yep. Mm -hmm. And Twang Central in Adelaide has a couple of these pedals. Cool. Over there. Okay. Excellent. Um, yeah. Thanks for hanging out. Um, Thank you so much. Please hit like and sus subscribe on the videos and hit the notification bell and we'll send you a message next time one's up. Yes, yes, yes. And as well as check out our social media links below, Facebook, Instagram and all that kind of Exciting stuff. <laughs> Very exciting stuff. <laughs> We're selling it. Uh, and on that note, thank you so much. Cool. Thank you, Andrew. Cheers. Thank you, Alex. See you guys. See ya.